Today is Tuesday, April 4th, and this is Citrus TV Now. I'm Olivia Maniscalco. Here are today's top stories. Former President Donald Trump is facing 34 felony charges and pleading not guilty. Citrus TV News political analyst Luke Radel is here with the latest on this breaking news. Luke? Olivia, the 45th president, is now a criminal defendant. Donald Trump is heading back to Florida right now from Manhattan, where he was arrested for falsifying business records. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg is leading the case. Donald Trump was arraigned on a New York Supreme Court indictment, returned by a Manhattan grand jury on 34 felony counts of falsifying business records in the first degree. Now, in their case, prosecutors say Trump orchestrated a scheme with others to influence the 2016 election by purchasing negative information about him and then lying about it on business records. Trump pled not guilty in court today and has called this case a witch hunt. We'll have full team coverage of the indictment tonight on News Live at 6 as we continue to learn more about the case. For now, Olivia, back to you. TikTok is being fined $15.9 million. Britain's privacy watchdog hit TikTok with the multi-million dollar penalty for a number of data protection breaches. These include misusing children's data and violating other protections for users' personal information. TikTok says that it does not agree with the watchdog's decision and will try to keep the platform safe for the community. And 32 people are dead after a, a, series, a series of tornado spawning storms on Friday. At least 50 confirmed tornadoes hit several states in the Midwest and the South. And today, going into Wednesday, more than 45 million people from Dallas to Milwaukee are under threats of severe storms. Other cities that might be seeing storms include St. Louis, Des Moines, and Little Rock, Arkansas. If there's a severe storm near you, listen to the warnings and seek shelter. Coming up on Citrus TV Now, the state Supreme Court is hearing arguments over a controversial statue here in Syracuse. That and more after the break. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Arguments over Syracuse's Christopher Columbus statue returned to court on Monday. The most recent hearing comes as the city of Syracuse is appealing a previous county Supreme Court decision. The city was unable to remove the statue in favor of the creation of a broader cultural heritage site. The city is, is arguing that this was a premature decision. No final verdict has been made after the latest round of arguments. And Monster Jam returns to Syracuse this Saturday at the JMA Wireless Dome. The event will feature world champion athletes and 12,000 pound monster trucks that will help participate in skill and racing competitions. The event will start at 7 in the evening and go to 9.30. The Monster Jam pit party will also be on Saturday from 2.30 to 5.30 in the afternoon. Fans will get the chance to see the trucks up close, take pictures and meet the drivers. You can visit Monster Jam's website for more information. But before we see the monster trucks, we're going to be dealing with some monster clouds here in Syracuse. Citrus TV weather anchor Ron Ronnie Perillo has more on the stark weather. Ronnie? Olivia, thanks. Well, you're right. There are certainly clouds out there in the Salt City. But right now, we are sitting at a nice 58 degrees here in Syracuse. Very welcome from the uh, previous times we've come on for the broadcast. And it's been, you know, in the 30s and, and really chilly. Today is actually a very mild day. And if you like those mild temperatures, good news for you, we'll be warming up tomorrow, even though that will bring us some rain. Tonight, falling to only 46 degrees, so it's going to be a very mild evening here in central New York. Maybe a nice night to uh, take a drive with the windows down if you bundle up just a little bit. And for tomorrow, 70 degrees for your high. That will bring us some showers, unfortunately, but it's going to feel like a day that truly is May. But the April showers are truly here to stay. Thursday, showers continuing, and Friday, things drying out cooling down just a bit. Olivia, back over to you. Thank you, Ronnie. Coming up on News Live at 6, we send things down live to New York City for more details on Donald Trump's arraignment. And that's all the time we have for you today on Citrus TV Now. For more of the latest, follow us at Citrus TV News on Twitter or check out our website at citrustv.com. I'm Olivia Maniscalco. The news continues in an hour.